Not bad, right? That's good. Nailed it. Oh. I guess I should refresh this page. Whew. What's going on, guys? It's hot in here. Set it to 27 to make Danielle happy. And I am happy. <sighs> for once. What do you mean for once? <clears throat> What are you guys up to tonight? Four door to Nomad Plow Truck. Rick, Wagon Man, what's happening? What are you guys up to? What's shaking, Bacons? Bored, yeah, I hear you, me too. Bit of a boring day today. <clears throat> really? I had a great day today. I do as much movies. Yeah, it was awesome. Wanna know what I'm gonna do tomorrow? What? Same thing. Oh. Want to know what I'm going to do on Monday? What? Same thing. No, we got to go to Princess Auto tomorrow. I can still watch movies. No. We absolutely are not late. You're late. We were early, if anything. Spudland. Fun fact, we were ready to go at 724, and we had to wait. Sunglasses inside at night. Movie week for Dan. Yes, story of her life. What's happening, Mountains? What's happening, Matt? Hi, Matt. East Lansing, Michigan. Well, there's nothing else to do. We can't go nowhere, so I might as well watch all my favorite movies while I'm off. Of course, screw around the garage nonstop. <coughs> What's happening in Canada? Yeah, there's not much happening in Canada today. <laughs> Slept for 18 out of 24 hours. Oh. Wow. What do you do for work? That sounds crazy, man. Hang with friends from Hey, North. Sashi. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Mary Ho Ho. <laughs> I like that Midnight Gambler. Fuel Fire Garage. I like that name. It's cool. Sup, Num Nuts. Hee <laughs> Running a bike shop. Oh, Christmas, you're busy like crazy. Hence the name uh, Papillion Cycles. I might have given it away. Uh, it's pronounced right? Papillon. Papillon. That's butterfly in French. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Beat it, nerd. Just saying. Don't make me shove you in a locker. Maine loves you. Oh, right on. We should go to Maine. I'd like to go to Maine. I need some lobster. Let's we'll see what this whole house is up to. Yeah. Moonshine in a fruit jar. <laughs> No, it's a Caesar. Or as uh, you Americans would say, it's a Bloody Mary. Come to Maui. Ugh. We should come to Maui. Jaws, I feel like you're a good excuse to go to Maui. Oh, Chris, welcome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. Oh, Mel, you're in Maine, too. That's cool. Hi, Jai. Jai? Jai's here? Yeah. Oh, what's happening, Jai? Hi, Glutton. How is work? I am a great excuse to do anything. <laughs> you don't really got to twist my arm to go cruise around 57 Chevys and go surfing. Really? I just want to, um, I want to be around to, like, spritz him with water when he gets too hot. Who? Jaws, be his water spritzer. No, I haven't found a 440 yet. Nurse in a hangover? That sounds about right. This, I'm pretty sure this is the first boxing day that I have not ever been hungover. No, no, no new Christmas cars. But I'm looking at one. I'm talking to a guy about one. You're always talking to a guy about one. Yeah. I think we did have a nice Christmas. Did you have a nice Christmas? Yeah, I loved it. Thank you, guys. Very entertaining. All right, on man. Do your own floor pound replacement. Ooh. Yeah. Good Chop for you. Chop those floors out. Boxing Day, yeah. Boxing Day is a Commonwealth thing. So, like, Australia, England, um, anywhere that the Queen still runs does Boxing Day. The Queen run? It's just, uh, it's like day after Christmas, they give, like, discounts and stuff, but it's lame. I got a pool! Well, hey there. But can you use it right away, or you gotta wait till summer? Seriously, Dan, good get on that one. See, I told you. Papillon is the French pronunciation. <laughs> I 
actually, I didn't cook up a turkey, but my parents were really sweet and drove across town and brought us like a whole turkey dinner with all the fixing. So that was nice. So I didn't have to do any cooking. It is summer. Well, if you're Australian, oh, is it Jai that got a pool? The rest of us is still winter and it's lame. Yes, Musashi, you are exactly right. I told that to Dan and he didn't believe me. What'd you tell me? Uh, how Boxing Day used to be when, um, like, bosses would give their employees presents. Mm. A box of gifts. It's a very, <laughs> like, colonialistic view. Well, that's pretty cool. Ooh, good call, good call. No, I turned it off beforehand. Oh. You think this one's still on? Probably. Thanks, Nick. That was, I think I'm officially addicted to burnouts, because that was fun. Nick's already watched the video, well. Wow. Yeah. Like Nick's on it. Eight minutes. <clears throat> oh, we hate winter too, FD. Yeah. What does three yards mean? It's just uh, the line from the movie. It means like 300 bucks. Christmas is Boxing Day. Hi, Ronald. More burnouts, 2021. Yeah, we're going to work at it. That's our campaign slogan for 2021. <sighs> yeah, Arizona sounds nice, but Arizona sounds crazy in the summer, though, eh? Aw, die cast. That's so cute. You rescued it. A dog and it's sitting with him watching the show. Like, do you just rescue it? <clears throat> Is it new? Yeah, boosted Kyle through wrench and things. That guy. Julian Blacktop. Yep. Little Red Express. Those are hard to find. They're expensive here, too. People want real money for those stupid trucks. 120 in the shade. That sounds hot. Yeah, oh, he just knows. Ago. Cute. His dog's a papillon. What's a, his dog's a butterfly? I guess that's the breed. Modern Hemi the Dodge. No, I think I want just a regular old big block Dodge in it. <clears throat> Maybe I'll line a cheap 400 or. I don't know. I'd like to find a 440, but I haven't been able to find one yet. Yeah, it's crazy how much those little red expresses are worth, eh? Oh, Joe, we are learning to read fast, and I already do read fast. Iguanas are freezing and falling out of trees. What? Is that true? That happens. Do we need to save the iguanas? That happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where? Where do iguanas live? Where that would even happen to them? Isn't that like Florida and stuff where that happens? And like all the oranges freeze and like when they get cold weather. It's it really... freezes in Florida? Well, not very often, but if it does, it's chaos. Oh my gosh. Save the iguanas! Yeah, save us in Florida, Florida. Nailed it. You guys! You gotta do something about the iguanas. You gotta save them. <clears throat> There's nothing you can do. Merry Christmas, Bandit! Bandit! <clears throat> Bandit! 27 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius, though? Hello, Patrick. <sighs> Aw, thanks, Shannon. I'm glad you liked my little Christmas song. Started on making one wiring harness out of two. Well, just buy a new one. <laughs> Really? Iguanas are an invasive species? We gotta freeze them out. No, this is a uh, Caesar, aka a Bloody Mary. It's kind of cute here. They thought you were drinking something healthy. Well, it is tomato juice. Well, but like, is it tomato juice? Yeah. <clears throat> from, made from real clams? Well, oh. from clam juice, yeah. How gross is that? It's delicious. Drink... Yeah, but it's gross. Oh, it's so good. I love it. I don't think anyone here is going to understand. I'll drink, like, I'll drink Clamato juice plain, like, without the alcohol. Like, it's literally like, just juice from a clam? Well, it's tomato juice, clam juice, and then, like, spices and stuff. But, yeah, that's that's all it is. How much clam is in it? Mostly tomato? It's mostly tomato. <clears throat> it's just a little bit of clam juice. Like, 90, 10? Probably. Does it just sound gross, clam juice? No. 
Actually, Clamato juice was like what, like a Caesar was one of the first drinks I ever had with my mom. Oh, really? Because <clears throat> she loves Clamato juice. <laughs> get out of here, Jai. <laughs> what did you get for Christmas? Uh, Danny got me a creeper, a new one. Pretty sweet. Stole my old junky one out. And Murr got me a ball joint press. I got a toque. What kind of toque? A Bluetooth toque. Yeah. <clears throat> I got some socks, heated socks. Yeah. That's what you get me. I got you a, a little dog park for your desk. I never had a dog park. Yeah. Well, if you don't want it, I'll have it. I like it. <laughs> and then those key hooks eventually. No plow. What? Oh, and those socks. Yeah, so that he socks. No, the socks with Frankie on them. Oh, I haven't got those yet. Yeah. Yeah, and I got you flannel. You got lots of flannel this year. Yeah. I gave you flannel. My mom gave you flannel. How are you gonna get the car back up the hill? Uh, well, I'm gonna make some tire chain link for it. You'll see a little bit of revving, or I can just tow it up with the. With the truck, I'm sure something stupid's gonna happen. It'll be good. Yeah, it was funny getting this thing down. I actually enjoyed it. It's fun ripping around in the snow. I gotta get a heater for it. Hopefully tomorrow we can get one. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, shop press is so handy. What's happening, Dean? Tear safe creeper. No, no. Well, it raised a little bit. Like it's got that headrest. I thought maybe it would be less hair. My hair's still it's too long. At least it's the price of looking back. cool. Give the fifty-five love. It always gets love. Actually, I worked a little bit on it today. Pretty nice old car. Oh. Hairnet? No way. <laughs> Not washing the dishes. We're doing burnouts. Oh, an English wheel. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. I'd like one of those too, but there's only room for it. Yeah, Picker Nation. That was truly our Christmas was that video. Wicked true commitment. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got to do burnout sometimes. It was a lot of scooting around to do the, uh, like I was all done in one day. Oh, hello, <coughs> Julius. Yesterday was a busy day. We had to get the car out, screw around, mount the plow, do burnouts. Then we went out after, it was like late, do the, with Danny, came back, put everything away. Then I had to stay up late editing that video. What a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Burnouts rule, I agree. Love burnouts. No, no PS5 yet. Was Eventually. A French English wheel just, uh, or French wheel, do the other way? Yeah, PS5 are still a pain to find here. It's craziness. I can't believe they don't just have them in the store where you can give them money and buy it. They want to build that <coughs> hype. Do you think that's what they want to do, or are they just idiots? No, I think, they they want to, behind? I think they want to build the hype. I think they want it to feel really exclusive. Thanks! I enjoyed doing my first burnout. What was your Christmas like before YouTube? The same? Yeah, well, I mean, typically I wouldn't be out screwing around doing burnouts or whatever, but uh, we're, the only reason I actually did that, it, it kind of worked out good and bad, is we can't do anything else. We're not, like, we're uh yeah, like, we couldn't see our families or anything, so there wasn't really anything else to do but, I guess, stick around with the cars. Yeah. When's the next cooking video happening with Brawls? Yeah, I'm I'm hoping to do one this week. A bunch of you actually sent me some cool recipes that I want to try, so. <laughs> well, some good comments there. <clears throat> New banana hammock. Yeah, I worked through those things pretty quick. We never did a mudding video. We should have. <clears throat> That's oh. a burnout on ice. 
nice. Nobody ever asks what nationality you are. Canadian? <laughs> Your YouTube family's here. Yeah, well, that's uh, that was a weird year. Not to hang out with family or nothing like that. But, yeah. <laughs> Only in Canada. You're right, Lynn. <laughs> Only in Canada. Gas or plow. Yeah, I've been working hard on it today, actually. So I got it all wired up. Works mint. I painted the plow. It looks good. Did redo all the suspension or all the mounting to it and stuff, but I gotta try and find some tire chains <clears throat> for it. I wanna do some. I wanna drive this thing. <laughs> I think it'd be hilarious to drive this thing in the winter, like year round. Uh, probably not Midnight Gambler just because the border's closed. So that makes it difficult. <clears throat> Put that 55 back in the snowbank. Whoa. Should I block that person? What? <laughs> ah, a little salt never hurt anybody. I feel like it's just a car. I mean, what do people do in 1955? They just drove their 55 Chevys, right? 15 in New Brunswick. Wow. So I think I'll drive this thing a little bit. I think it'd be hilarious. Guaranteed there had to be somebody that drove a big block tunnel ram 55 Chevy at some point in their life, right? In the winter? Yeah. I'm not conforming to your ways. What, what is it? I'm trying to make... The thing I have to do, though, is I have to change the front tires because they these skinnies, oh, it's crazy. This is a driveway. Uh, I don't know what it is, Canada to Canada. Thanks, Bandit. Aren't I usually smiling? <clears throat> Oh, well, last week I was in a lot of pain, so I don't think I was smiling. 55 on a four-wheel drive for him? No. I've seen that before. Like, everybody and their dog sent me that 57 Chevy, that yellow one on, a like, a Blazer chassis. And I was like, okay. It had a snowplow on it and these big boggers. I'm like, well, that doesn't count. <laughs> That's just a body swap. You actually got to yeah. suffer and make it happen. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, Megan and Chris. They're, these are so skinny, though, that you just turn the wheel and there's... Which I was surprised with all the weight up front. I thought this thing would uh, corner like it's on rails. That didn't happen. You guys, isn't moonshine <clears throat> clear? Why does everyone think this is moonshine? I don't know what size tire chains I need. It's hard to find. It seems like it's going to be a pain to find uh, tire chains... Here. I don't want to pay a bazillion dollars for them either, so I'm saying I might just buy a bucket of chain and make my own. But there isn't a Dodge next to you. Who said that? Bandit. Oh. No, it's 55 Chevy, man. It's got a big block in it. Or so I heard. Actually, someone did give us a water bottle of moonshine. What happened with that? You took it in? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. It changed from a semi. You've been brewing kombucha. Oh, Picker Nation can hook you up with kombucha. Ooh, I do like that. Yeah, I was going to look for some semi stuff, but I don't know. I don't have any buddies that are in the semi world that can just give me some old tire chains. That'd be the easiest, just kind of make them work. And buy brand new semi tire chains or big bucks. I missed the part where Dan let you do one in the square. Damn, I was hoping you'd get him to drag other car up. Well, what do you want to see? Come on, I'll pull he some out. He wants my 57 out. I got nothing going on tomorrow. I know. I was going to ask you, but I didn't know if you were going to be um, over it or not. That thing's not plated, though. Yeah. You know what, Josh? We'll do it just for you. Very just <laughs> It's gravel. <laughs> just pelt the... She's got to do one in her car. Okay, what's your old lady gonna do a burnout in? Wait, you wanna see one in the Kia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, remind me to text you, buddy. I actually got a wicked deal on a car coming up. You're gonna be jealous. Bye, Jai. You don't need to worry about plates. Jai's going to bed already? Kia works. No, it doesn't. Piece of junk. Whoa, whoa, the Kia is a fine automobile, okay? Is it? Yes. So there's no tires. Yeah, well, I'm looking for a set. I put a uh, want that out. 
for junk tires. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Jai isn't going to do a burnout, that's for sure. <laughs> he's not even, he, he, he can't do it when he's not here anymore. That's the best time to make fun of Jai when he's not around. 1 p.m. They got to clean up the shed. Start working on crap. Apple pie and moonshine. No, that sounds pretty good. The Kia does have soul, Robert. You're right. Merry Christmas. I heard it. <laughs> <coughs> well, you guys all know a lot about moonshine. I really okay. wasn't expecting that. Down south. That's like those uh, TV shows that are in the woods, running from the law. Fighting gators. We got just four liter milk jugs full of shine. Yeah. They got their overalls with no shirt. I think I'm going to rock that next year. I like that. Like May to September. No shirt and just overalls. I'm into it. Just see what happens. I like it. I'm going to get a little shoulder tan for once in my life. I think it's a great idea. A <laughs> drinker's drink. <laughs> He has a hockey puck with plow trucks in Canada. <laughs> oh, that's good. Four liter jugs. That's too metric. I know. Every time I say metric, I feel weird. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bandit. It's a gallon. Why are people laughing at the four liter milk jug? Isn't that what they're called? Four liter milk jug? How much is four liters? 3.78. Don't. Show me like a... Wait. Tell me when to stop. You see that pink can? I'm going to stop. See that pink can right there? <coughs> yes. That's four liters, basically. Okay. Or you see that right there? Yeah. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but it'll say that. <laughs> it's something. It might be four liters. <laughs> Two times a Coke bottle. Biker look is a vest with no shirt. I could do that, too, maybe. Liter of cola. God, I love that movie. Flannel coveralls. Huh. That'll be all right. I always wear denim ones. My favorite's denim. Are they overalls? The ones that have the thing? Yes. Yeah. I like denim overalls. Dog the Bounty Hunter. I miss that guy's show. He's good. <clears throat> oh, James. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. That's real nice of you. Well, if I I don't think Winnipeg is a big place for milk bags. Like, did you have bags of milk or? Flannel well, coveralls are called pajamas. <laughs> yeah, four liters is four quarts basically. I never had milk. I didn't drink a lot of milk, so I don't like milk. Because we never had milk bags in my house. We always just had cartons. And I know other places in Canada milk bags are a thing. Really? Yeah, it's a bag of milk, and then you have a special, well, not a special. I put it together. Too. There was a bag of milk one that's called a milk bag. <laughs> really? Just saying. <laughs> Canucks are weird. Yeah, well, you Americans are weird too. Hi, Julius. Uh, Aw, enjoy your time with your wife. God, Arizona. We need to go to Arizona. We need to order that, open that border already. <clears throat> Canadian hillbillies are called foothill williams. Oh, I didn't know. That. I didn't know what a foothill william is. What did Danny get for Christmas? I got an arrow grower so I can grow my own herbs in the house, which is really exciting. And I got um, a like a refill for that. What else I got? Oh, well, that's not here <coughs> yet. But I got an electric toothbrush. It's really intense. What else did I get? Pile of cash. Oh yeah, I got some cash. What else did I buy? The vest. Oh yeah, I got my own heated vest, so now I have two. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. He bought me my own heated vest so I would stop stealing his. I grow my own herbs too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a motor for the new 57? Uh, no. No, I don't. <clears throat> I got one spare motor sitting around here. We'll figure something out. 
What kind of herbs, man? And some basil and some mint and some thyme and some, um, well, there's like three kinds of basil and dill. I'm very excited about the dill. Bandit, I actually, there's a guy, sent me a message, he got an email, 55, uh, Nomad, which I'm going to uh, see if I can make a deal on. Are we having a New Year's Eve live stream? I don't know. When is New Year's Eve? What day is it? Oh, it's Friday. No, oh, it is a Friday. you way too late for us. We're going to be in food comas from the Wagyu. Wagyu? Oh, yeah. We'll be tired. We're not making midnight for sure. Midnight burnouts? <laughs> deal. Dan, deal get the car. <laughs> yeah, well... well the problem is it's, uh... Aw, hi, John. That's really nice of you. You are pretty classy. Yeah, well, so it's 55 Nomad, but it is hammered, apparently. No. Pretty rough. I did not, Jeremy. Still no PS5s to be found. And it's, uh, a, a ways away. It's like 20 hours away. Actually, he probably would be in the garage at midnight, depending how much he eats. Do I say garage, funny? Garage. Garage. Grayish. Oh, <laughs> Wayne, you did a deep dive for the short-haired pictures of Dan. My hair was just a short. <clears throat> yeah, I think, well, if I get a Nomad, I'll do something with that wagon, whether I sell it or not. It's a nice car. Actually, there's a guy that's already offered me money for that car. I could double my money on it right away. 14.5 US cash for 56. It's yours, man. Give me the cash. We'll sign the title. Come pick it up. Bill, you guys have PS5s, like, readily available down there? Because we don't. That's a shit show here. It's those. crazy. Deckel on your cap. It's the DD Speed Shop one. I mean, it's fun to just say Deckel. Oh, Deckel. Because it's stitched. Cherry Bomb Winnipeg Wagon. Mm -hmm. Minneapolis, what's happening, man? 78 Dodge 200 Adventure. Oh, that's cool. The 440 in it? That'd be a good unit. We don't sell patches, actually. Boosted to build a turbo LS for the wagon. I had those thoughts about doing something with Boosted there. Giving the money to build some sort of motor for me with this jam in there. Hi, Robert. I don't know if you'd be interested in doing it or not. Like, can you at least still order, Bill? Like, we can't even order PS5s here. Like, it's, it's a gong show, and then there's all the scalpers trying to scalp you. Mr. Heavy, I mean, oh, that's, that's so awesome. nice. So at 100K, Dan cuts his hair. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't even know what you'd look like anymore. The same, but shorter hair. Like less of a hillbilly? Aw, that would make <clears throat> me sad. I really feel like it's just going, yeah, out of control. Piggy Bap to hop Popular Hot Rodding Project X. I still play my PS2. Oh, Nintendo. Yeah. Do they have 80s Ford Broncos up in Canada? Yeah. I wouldn't say they're just all over the place, but they exist. Crew cut. Oof. That's short, man. Well, when I met you, you had the Brad Pitt from Fury haircut. Kind of mixed with like a greaser. Yeah. A greaser look. That's what I had for a long time. I used to have a big pomp and stuff. Like I used to do that. Yeah, greaser hair thing. Yeah. I liked that. That was good. It was good. I liked it too. It was just so greasy all the time. And it took you forever to get ready. <clears throat> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> It's faster than you. No. I had to blow dry my hair. That was the only problem. It's a pain in the ass. That's why I just kind of gave up on all that stuff. Let it rip. 80s Bronco. Uh, he has to listen to me sing enough. I don't think he wants to have to listen to it in his videos, too. <laughs> Actually, I should put that broke down Chevy uh, in this one when I'm doing it. Real junker. 259 two door wagons. That's cool. That rough just means affordable, if you ask me. I don't buy anything that's nice. 
I buy multiple things that are rough. When you ask what's the price range and they go, well, it's pretty rough, that's how you know it's the car for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mountains of Oregon. Hi, Robert. Have you up here wearing suspenders? I want to wear suspenders, I'm not going to lie. I'm waiting until I get old enough to pull off suspenders and no one judges. I hate wearing belts. Or belts and suspenders, maybe? Rough. Haircut at 100k. Oof. I don't know if I want to cut my hair that bad. Never thought I'd see a 55 Chevy with a plow on it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm working on it. <clears throat> I like a uh, plow tri five is the way to go. If someone had to have done this at some point in their life, right? Santa brought Stinky, Frankie and Steve um, some toys and some treats. And Boxing Day brought Frankie some new coats. And more treats. They had a pile of bacon, too. A pile of bacon. So much bacon to puke. Yeah. That <clears throat> was on you. No, you gave him all the bacon. I only get. I give them... Well, here's the problem. I always, when I'm cooking, I give them food while I'm cooking. And then you gave all your leftovers. Well, they like hollandaise sauce. Who doesn't? Not my fault. They ate they were sick. <laughs> yeah, stinkiest and free. Exactly. Later, Heavy Chevy. Bye, Heavy Chevy. Is the 55 standard? Uh, it's an automatic. That's what you're asking. DD Speed Shop suspenders. Oh, we should get those. Yeah. Are you taking orders for custom mailboxes? <laughs> you know the one that's on the wall. Oh, Actually, know. that's not a bad idea, there, Eric. A Mr. Plow Fifty Five shirt. <laughs> Good night, Mr. Chevy Truck. Bye, bye, bye. Did you write Jaws intro? Did I did not. No. He asked me. I passed it on to what? you. What? No, you didn't. I said the other day. No, you didn't. I was talking to Jaws and I showed it. He was talking with Tim. Remember? I legit, I for sure. No, didn't. you said someone asked about you doing your intro and you never said anything beyond that. Yeah, well, you should assume if that's what I said. Jaws, I would love to write your intro. Oh my gosh! No, I had no idea. No! Yeah. Jaws, I would love to write you your intro. Oh my gosh! It's not just like your mom there. Yeah. Well, I know it's not happening tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, if Joss wants me to write your song, like your intro, I will. Watch your video on turning a four door to 57 to a two door. Oh, thanks, man. That was a good video. What are your thoughts on the movie Dazed and Confused? Well, I think it raised me more than my parents, to be honest with you. <laughs> Love that movie. That's the one with the moon tower, right? Yeah. I would love it. Oh, can I put a few words in there or something? <laughs> it's supposed to be nice. No, it's not. It's Jaws. We can say whatever we want. He's cool. When I'm not surfing, I'm ranching. <laughs> And then, just, and then you just have to have the song just dead stop and then start a completely different day. <laughs> and I'll, do, and I'll <laughs> change my shirt and I'll like... <laughs> just be real sweaty. <laughs> be super sweaty. <laughs> it's so terrible, but like one of my favorite lines from Days and Confused is, you know what I love about them high school girls? I keep getting older, and they keep staying the same age. They keep staying. It's so bad, but it's so funny. It's such a clever line. Plow on a tri five, yeah. She looks good. It's actually too, we're so Can close. I to Dan? See it. Why do you feel well, this is nothing Dan would wear? I'm very confused. He actually yeah, be a lot cooler if he did. He actually hates this sweater. Drive me nuts. <laughs> it's my queen <clears throat> sweater though. The plow is currently on the on the Are car you right now. I'm gonna refresh my drink then. Sure. Okay. Oh god, I'm struggling, struggling, struggling. Look. 
Oh, look at that. Painted and works and everything. Isn't that cool? I dig it. Let's see if I can get this back. Oh, smashed it with the vice handle. Gentle. We kind of. Not bad, eh? <clears throat> oh, no, that's terrible. Oh. What happened to the death proof? I painted over that. Do a burnout while plowing. That was my plan. Is, uh, I don't know about that plow. <clears throat> well, Josh, you can't make everybody happy, man. This is even kind of high now, eh? Best looking snow plow I ever saw. I'll have to start plowing to pay for fuel. Oh, I buggered it again. Man, I am struggling today. Let's get Danny out here to do it. She's the technology one. Oh, I nailed it. Oh, it's the same. 55 Chevy race car in that movie. That movie. I like El Camino's. I'd have one. Stick a force beat and something try five. Eh, so that's expensive. Don't mess up the 55. Eh, if I break it, I'll fix it. Yeah, lots of try five Chevys were stock cars. There's still a guy now actually that runs a, I think it's a 55 Chevy as a stock car, or maybe it's a Pontiac even. This beats the tar out of it. You gonna make 55 a plow? Yeah, it's, it is. It's got the blade on it. Get some tire chains on it. Should be good. I actually never got the EFI on that square body yet. I'm working on it. Put a sander in the trunk. I should do that. That'd be pretty good, eh? Be like a full service, come by, plow, sand. Arbor Shop Snow Plow on an 80s Steve. I have not seen that. Tri Plow, oh, that's a good name. I like that. <clears throat> four by four Tri Five. Waiting for a cold snap. Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy. Ryobi tools are trash. <laughs> you feel like you need to put that in the chat? I, I haven't had a Ryobi you know, tool in a while. You know, it's funny about that. I saw that whole display when we were at Home Depot today. I was like, oh, those look kind of neat. I, I like the Walt stuff. Chicago, what's happening, man? Ever Chicago. owned a Tri 5 Pontiac? I have not, but I chopped one up for Danny's car. First 350, the intake was exhaust. Yeah, I've seen that too. It's crazy, eh? Yeah, Mr. Plow. Mr. Yeah. Plow. Not for industrial use. Well, I think those those Roby ones are kind of geared towards like the the kind of do it yourself crafter person. I don't know. I just like DeWalt. <clears throat> I got stuck on it, and all my batteries and chargers and all that are DeWalt, so mm -hmm. that's all I have. Well, thanks, Jorge. Or is it actually George? I just assumed it was Jorge. <laughs> Jorge. I can build a GM. Oh, wow. Well, that would be kind of weird to have. Clear lane to Blacktop 55. I'm excited to plow some snow, actually. I think it'd be fun. Hopefully it has a little bit of traction. That's my only real concern. We do not have deep dish pizza here. I don't know if I'd like deep dish pizza as much as I love pizza. I feel like it'd be too much sauce. More like a lasagna, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I like thin crust. Like, we like a nice kind of crispy thin crust. Or a garlicky thin crust. Have you yet to kill a DeWalt 20-volt? 
Oh, I've gone through drills. I've gone, I think I'm on my third or fourth drill that I've wore out. Oh, that's the other thing I got you. I got you that cool, um... Oh, yeah, the angle drill that thing. That cool angle drill thing, but it's like a universal one, so it, like, <coughs> it adjusts to every bolt. Mm-hmm. I was really excited about that one. The gator grip. Yeah. Good night, Pops Bronco. Danny, you drive the Plow 55. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> Thin crust, wood fired, even better. It's mm. time consuming. But that's like if we go get from like carbon or whatever, that's all wood fired. You need to find an angle grinder, yeah. Find the Walt angle grinder, man, that thing is good, I tell you. I've used that thing steady. What does it choose through batteries like crazy? <sighs> Yummy, a good thin crust with good <laughs> indica. <laughs> good for you, buddy. <laughs> I am drinking a Caesar, which, Dang is, old gator grip. which is a Bloody yeah. Mary for <clears throat> Americans. Put the plow in the Model A. Yeah, maybe. Remember when we went to Vegas and it's like, I'll have a Caesar. And they're like, a what? I'm like, oh, or a Bloody Mary. <laughs> like, why is it different? Because you're in Canada and that it's well, I want to know who changed it. <laughs> Mr. Canada? I don't think I've ever had gondola pizza. We usually get from... Do we still have gondola here? Yeah, but we usually get from Little <coughs> Pizza Heaven. Oh, Etsy, you're from Vegas? We love Vegas. What's up, BW? Tripod's still pretty easy to find. I still can find them. Yeah, and I feel like the clam juice makes a difference. I like I like the taste of clam juice. Put Danny <gasps> on a beach. You know, Bandit, I feel like you're really on my side tonight. I'll send you away. <laughs> Find my me, make it all inclusive. Bye. <laughs> Caesars has Clamato. Oh, there you go. I've been told to show Dan. It's kind of dark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, if that guy does it, we can, anything can be a plow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking originally instead of actually putting a plow on it, just take a 205 barrel, slip slip it in half, and weld it right to the bumper and carry on. All exclusive. I'd be all right with that. Could you imagine how many books I'd read? <clears throat> It'd be glorious. Or you'd be hung over and sleeping on the beach. Also glorious. Either way. <laughs> your style. <laughs> Either way, happy. <laughs> That Caesar is made with clam juice. Well, there you go. It is. Good night, Tim. Take care. Later, buddy. Thanks for popping in. Mine is a vodka one, actually. Usually I don't drink vodka, but one of our friends for my birthday slash Christmas, because <coughs> it came this week, brought me like this big thing of vodka. So I'm drinking vodka. Vodka, as they say. Slam it. Use the bumper as a plow. I always take the bumpers off tri fives. I think your car's the only one that has a bumper on it. Yeah. <coughs> Clam juice. Yuck. <laughs> it sure does sound gross. It's I delicious. You. you can buy it in a jar right by um the Caesar mix. So you can add more clam juice. Mm. Yeah, it's the not Russians. Clammy enough for you? Vodka. Not clammy enough? Sometimes you need a little extra clam. That's Something different. Yeah, see, Radar, you know. Clam juice is delicious. Yeah. Well, that's what gives, like, a chowder its flavor and stuff. I have a cola, like usual. Shannon, for New Year's Eve, I'm going to make um, Wagyu again. The same way I did it last time in my Instagram stories. I think I'll film it this time. Um, but we're going to have do Wagyu. Oh, number one. That's a good... The Simpsons, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I have Mountain Dew and Clam Juice. Or, uh, yeah, was it Clam Juice? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, oh, God. Ugh. I'll take the Clam Juice. <laughs> he has, like, 15 of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we're just going to have kind of a quiet night in. But I want us to dress up nicely. Usually on New Year's, we actually go for, like, a really fancy dinner where they serve Wagyu. So I kind of want to recreate that at home. Yeah, I bought a whole box of Wagyu's. So I'm excited to that was make a big more. Expense. 
This is fun. Editing stupid videos and watching DD. <laughs> well, at least you're not watching stupid DD and editing videos. You used to drink Alfredo sauce, like, straight out of the jar? Wow, that's gotta be calorie dense, eh? Holy crap. Where do you find <laughs> that must energy? hurt your stomach. Where do you find the energy to get out work in the nasty cold? I don't know. Got nothing else to do. Well, hey, Megs. What is Wagyu? Wagyu is like a pristine cut of beef that we love. So this restaurant we like to go to. We go once a year. We go once a year. Because <laughs> that's all we can afford. Because it's very expensive. <clears throat> and we oh, every time we always get the same thing. So we get their fancy little bocaccini salad. And if there's a special starter that they have. And then he gets a Wagyu. I get the tempura... Um, like squid ink pasta that's spicy and then you get we brussels get sprouts. brussels sprouts and then usually another side maybe mushrooms or something and we've done this for the last <clears throat> like three years and it's like a super and we get dressed up he dresses up nicely clean for jeans. it clean jeans clean shirt and we go and usually have like a little romantic evening so i'm gonna try to recreate that at home we actually love Brussels sprouts. It's a thousand bias blinds burnout, yeah. <laughs> you have clean thing. jeans. Yeah, I actually, I wash <laughs> them and then I put them in a glass container jaws so that he can't touch them. These are actually, these work my work jeans and I wore them in the garage today and got paint on them. You also have a lot of clean <laughs> jeans in your closet that you just don't wear. And I've checked the sizes. They all fit you. Oh, really? Yeah. I threw out the ones that wouldn't. Skinny waist, large in the crotch. Yeah. <laughs> really, eh? No, oh, right on. I've taken them out somewhere, that's for sure. I still have brand new jeans. Yes. That are in the closet, awaiting your wearing. When jeans come on sale, you gotta stock up. <clears throat> At least I do. TGA Friday levels. Oh, we should do like, no, TRI Fridays or Tri Five. Try Fridays. Except we do this on Saturday. Yeah. So we'd have to switch it to Fridays. And I thought it was a try Friday in here. No. That would try. <laughs> Large in the crotch. Yeah, man. Oh, Brussels sprouts are actually, <clears throat> we both really enjoy Brussels sprouts. I, I usually roast them with some bacon. And they taste delicious. You gotta get them really crispy. Cool. Yeah. If they're not crispy, they're not good. You gotta make them crispy. Then the car breaks down the way to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, these things happen. I don't think we've ever broken down in a car, have we? They always make it. No, that's false. We've never had to tow anything. No, we've never had to tow anything. We've always fixed it or done whatever. Stuff's overheated and screwed up. And yeah. Just the other day, the blue truck, that was funny. Yes. I was mad as hell. I was thing. trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> you should have. I was silent that entire <laughs> ride home because all I wanted to do was make fun of you. And I just, like, you were at a tipping point and I thought you would have murdered me if I, like, opened my mouth. I was, well, it was, it was Christmas Eve. It was Christmas Eve. Yeah. And it was, like... <laughs> we should have filmed that. It was probably, that. like, oh. 11 o'clock at night. Oh, thanks, man. Clap Camino. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I had my junky old blue truck. Put the plow on. Was the plow even on? Yeah, the plow was still on it. Yeah. We took that for some reason. I don't know why we were driving that. Um, Because we were going to use that in case the gray truck didn't work. Oh, yeah. We were and then you, yeah. the gray truck wouldn't start. Yeah. But while you were trying to start the gray truck, <laughs> the blue truck died. And you looked at me and you said, did you turn the key off? And I said, no. And you were like, did you turn the key off? And I said, no again. The window was up. Yeah, and then it wouldn't stay running. Oh, man, was that funny. It still bust, but so it would run for, like, a few seconds unless you weren't right on the gas. So the whole way home, it would die. I'd pop her neutral, crank it, and just to the wood, and then right into gear. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in the chat, don't buy that truck when I sell it. <laughs> also, we're deleting this live video. <laughs> oh, was I mad at it? That truck deserved it. I was so mad at it. You know what, though? It's a good thing we did end up going and getting McDonald's when I had wanted it. Because if we hadn't and that had happened, I would have been over the evening. Because I was getting hangry. I've been hangry last two days in a row. Yesterday you were a little hangry. Well, yesterday you were 
weren't very nice to me at one point during the day. You weren't nice to me at one point. You were nice to me. <laughs> I don't think we have some drag strips. We should take the plow down the drag strip. Oh my gosh. What if they do like winter drags here? No, I don't think they do. That would be fun. I'd, I'd love to go to like those ice races. The, uh, oh, thanks, man. Appreciate Dude, that, that's buddy. That's so nice of you. The, uh, I've always wanted to make my own like bolt tires. <laughs> We're trying our best, Darren. We're trying our best. What was the question? It's like hard to answer 450 people's questions. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of start answering random questions and it works out usually. And sometimes <laughs> we get like on our own tangents with each other and we just miss everything that happens. Yeah, that's fine. That's just part of the fun, right? Ran trees down the track. Yeah, what's a plow? We strap her on there. It would probably be a little wind resistant, but it sure looks cool, eh? It does look cool. I haven't, I haven't checked that video yet where it was, I was ripping around the lane and it looked okay. Yeah, it did. It was getting kind of dark. Well, I was worried that you were going to get stuck, to be honest, but you didn't. Oh, a little bit of revving. Yeah. I didn't know who those people were, and I didn't want to bag the hell out of it in case there oh, were yeah, no. a couple of Karens. No, it was the people that are used to us. Ozman! Also, Ozman, you had, like, the nicest comment ever on my video the other day, so thank you for that. That was very sweet. Eric, welcome! Oh, thanks, buddy. Pigs up there killing tires. Yeah, that's what pig does good. Tires and legs. Can't keep them in stock. Yeah, boosted video was good. <laughs> Help me, neighbors didn't call the cops. That was funny. Yeah, I have too much grip. No, not enough power, you wuss. <laughs> My tires won't spin. He had them wet down and everything. I gotta make fun of him. I'll send him a message. He was busy at night, but... <clears throat> I know. I want to do so many more... Um, so many more burnouts now that I know how. Doing your stuff, not mine. Oh. Mario! Merry Christmas! Oh, check out Christmas lights. We should do that, actually. I would love to do that. I'm not going to lie. So on Christmas Eve, I had to work Christmas Eve, and I was kind of bummed about it. And then you texted me and being like, oh, I've got a great Christmas plan for us. And I truly thought you were going to be really romantic and take us to see Christmas lights. And then that wasn't it. Oh, thanks, man. Do you automatically take out membership money? That would be cool. Uh, yeah, so if you sign up for the membership, it's just a monthly thing, I believe. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate that, man. Woohoo, burnouts. I love burnouts. But if you break it, you have to fix it. That's part of the fun. Oh, God, do I break things and then refix it? Never seems to end. Danny, <coughs> was it hard for you to get used to? No. Oh, it's hard for me to get used to driving with seatbelts now. <laughs> I'm terrible for my seatbelt now. It's a pain in the ass. In the new truck, it has a dinger. And she never wears her seatbelt. I'm just, like, I'm truly used to not wearing a seatbelt. I love it. What's the bare minimum needed to start a YouTube channel? I'm going to say a cell phone with a camera and internet. I just use my cell phone. Glutton, am I surprised to subscribe to your channel? Glutton has a channel? I didn't know that. Is Danny American? I am not. But growing up, a lot of people always thought I was from the South. Glutton, you should start a channel. Oh, Glutton, can you just start a channel about the dogs? Just with your strong jaw. Oh, that jawline. Gosh, does he have a jawline that kills. Thanks, Eric. We're gonna... We'll keep on keeping on, man. I like to stay busy out here. Oh, I should have showed you that picture he sent me yesterday of him at work. Where's this going? <laughs> he just said his jawline was out. <laughs> Stupid. Is it weird that we both have a crush on Glutton? Stupid sexy Glutton. <laughs> you guys ever take the evil speed reading course? What? Evelyn speed reading course? No, but I like to think I can read pretty quickly. It's fun as doing donuts on a plow truck. What about donuts on a plow 55 Chevy Gasser? Do it, clapped Camino. Do it. Mm -hmm. 
70 speed machine, that'd be cool, man. Oh, that's cool, Wooly. Rocking a Challenger shirt, oh, right on. Oh, I'm not wearing a DD Speed Shop shirt. Today. Wow, you're terrible for brand awareness. Well, I'm wearing the DD Speed Shop. No. But <clears throat> I'll mark her on the damn. What if it's cold out? <laughs> Just skip any word, three letters or less. This is speed free. No, that's not bad. <clears throat> 56 wagon on a square body frame and a plow. No. I don't know what I'm going to do with that 56. So I found another hot rod I want now. The best part is I talked to Mike about getting it. <clears throat> and he said he'd drive out, get it, and then just bring it right back to his place and store it. So I just give him money. Never even seen the car. That's a new. The what? Which car? That car in BC. I told you about it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing at Mikey. <laughs> yeah. I'll just give him money, he'll go get it, bring it back, put it in his yard, and that's the end of it. That's pretty mint, eh? You know, I feel like we should just start a little, like, commune with Mikey and Maggie at this point. What's the next giveaway number? <laughs> okay. And you guys are just... Maybe, like, let us recover a little bit from the last what one. What can I get for free? I would love to not have macaroni and cheese for three days of the week. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's not too bad. <laughs> We should start just giving stuff away because God drives me nuts. I'd like to do it with just a done car. Yeah. Like get the satellite done, be like, here's a deal. We get to this level in 30 days, you can have it, otherwise I'm selling it. Oh, we should just do a race to sell. That might be fun. Glutton, we're still not allowed to see our family. So no mark. We saw Murray yesterday. But like he, he couldn't be in the garage with us. At a distance. Yeah. We'll just put him, like, in the corner. There's hoodies on the Teespring store there, Roger. <clears throat> Zoom in? Yeah, we gotta do that, actually. Actually, I think I figured out <clears throat> how to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. It's all the Cobra. What? I was actually... I wanted to get the Cobra out of storage and go do burnouts and that, but... It's not the case. <clears throat> we don't have any smog laws, I think. Not in Winnipeg. There is in, uh... BC in Toronto, I think. Oh. To me. Cut me a check and she's all yours, man. We are all a family here. You got it, Wes. Never done, just done enough. That's the story of my life. Oh, did you get them their own glutton so that you could have yours back? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I always love that. Oh, I got my new shirt in. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> oh, I got my two. Never mind. <laughs> hey, you know what, though? When I'm you got glad your, the girls uh, like it. When you got your kids outside in the snow pulling motors and all that, Yeah. it doesn't matter what the shirt and all that costs. I love it. Four of each. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Glutton, we're sorry. <laughs> 70 Kuda, that'd be sweet. Robert, we're in a... Well, we're in, like, a code red thing in Manitoba right now, so we're not allowed to be with people outside of our household <clears throat> unless it's six feet apart and, like, outside or at work. I don't think there are any fees to take a car across the border. You just have to fill out the paperwork and you pay your tax when you get uh, whatever you when get you go, it? and you go to a, uh, insure it or whatever. If you insure it, because you don't have to insure things in the States. What's a plan for 56 uh, the two-door sedan is going to be sold. It's basically done, so I got it pushed outside. And I was just going to give it a once-over, get a few more things dialed together, and put it up for sale. That's the second person asking about a patch. I'll have to look into it, Glutton. Like stones, after man. <clears throat> gotcha. It's not too bad here. We're getting like I don't know, a couple hundred cases a day or something. We're like that. definitely better. We're back to being in the one hundreds and two hundreds as opposed to like the five hundreds and four hundreds. Yeah, but but we, have, we have a small population, so I think that's the real issue. We're not allowed to talk about falcons in this garage, Osman. Yeah, Mister Falcon. Oh well. I think we expect more burnouts with the wifey. I like how you put a video out for like a day. What is it? Tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> do it right now? I can't do it right now. We're in the garage. Isn't there no laws in your own garage? I don't know. I thought that was the deal. <sighs> it's 
spreading the word of the East Beach. Well, thanks, Bandit. Appreciate that, my friend. Got a question for you. Oh, I got an answer. You know, we should just buy flannel and have it embroidered myself so I can actually just wear it myself. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. That's really what I want. Okay. I can do that. Oh, you're going to pay for it too? No. No. But I'll use your credit card. The problem is the, uh... Oh. Burn through them so fast. Matt, we didn't sell the Falcon. It got burnt. To a crisp. Somebody burnt it. To a crisp. What's the antique car market like up there? Seems like you got more junk sitting around there. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff for sure. All right, so things I'm going to look into for the new year are patches and flannel. The old Chevy Bel Air, was it manual or an automatic? Uh, all mine are automatics. Turn a new 57 into a three door. Maybe. All sorts of ideas for that stupid thing. Caught on Falcon Fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Bob and Doug McKenzie. A pickup truck conversion. Yeah, the Black Widow clone would be easy, that's for sure. Well, door shut and put another set of doors in the front. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that car. I just, I saw it and I bought it. I had all sorts of ideas, but stuff keeps just showing up. <laughs> okay, I've made note of it, Justin. Flintstone floors. Everything I have starts off with Flintstone floors. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Try 5 El Camino. Yeah, I thought about that. The problem is it's still all about... Uh, can I sell it when it's done, or do we just give it away and somehow make it work? Chris, you can get a beanie, and Dan, in the next week, will post the member's discount code. That's nice of me. It is nice of you. Just so patches and all the flowers, yeah. Just watch the burnout video. Sweet. Thanks, buddy. Nothing up here has floors after 10 years, yeah. That'll happen. Four door chopped off. I hate chopped off tri fives. The code is Jaws sucks. All one word. <laughs> What's the pink drink? Dan, are you going to show us how to install a floor shifter? Oh. Am I? Yeah. Uh, like a ratchet shifter? I actually think the next 56 video, which I still I just finished editing, I installed the shifter in it. What's that noise? Are we gonna die? I don't think so. Honestly, that's like my biggest fear whenever I'm in the garage is that there's a weird noise that starts and I automatically always think it's like a gas leak or something and I'm gonna die. There's no gas on here. Well, just that like something's gonna kill me. It's pretty safe out here, I think. Do a burnout shirt with the truck. That'd be kind of cool. We have a plan for the truck shirt. Yeah. What about the Tri-5 open hood? Oh, that reminds me. I need to... Atomic Swag emailed me like three weeks ago and I never emailed him back. Wow. I know that's very unlike me. Do you ever have mice in the garage? Not usually. No. I never have food out here nothing like that. Oh, you... thanks, buddy. You always have food out here. I have drinks, but no food. Speaking of food, I remember how you didn't eat that soup that I brought out for you that one time. Where is that container? I clearly brought it in, washed it, and put it away. I didn't throw it out. Did you seriously throw it out? No. But did you? No. I would never do that. But did you? I don't think so. Is it on the hood of the car still? I don't know, but that was a good, that was like one of my best containers. It was like, okay, first of all, don't give me your best anything ever. Lesson, life lesson, just learn. Second of all, I remember picking up the whole thing with the spoon, and I don't know if I brought it inside or I threw it in the garbage, but one of those two happened. That wasn't even mine. It was your mom's, and we stole it. She's cool. They got lots of money for Tupperware. <laughs> it, was a, it was a legit Tupperware one. So I need more. <laughs> 
That's how we get our Tupperware. We take it from your mom and from my mom. That was my mom's. What's next for you, Dan? I think it's probably dinner time and early bed, eh? Yesterday was a long day. Well, Christmas Eve and yesterday <clears throat> were long days. Christmas Eve, I didn't really do anything, though. We shot the circles, about? guys. Oh, we drove around a little bit. We spent like three hours driving around back and forth. Well, truck wouldn't start twice. That was it. Yeah, and all of that took like three hours. It was fun three hours. It was a uh, bonding. Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. It's good times now. Stupid truck. God, Jesus. That's the next giveaway is that Chevy truck. <laughs> Just, no, it's not. I like that truck. That blue one? Oh, yeah, no, the blue one can go away. Yeah. Give that away right away. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Who wants it tomorrow? Like, I'm yeah. done with that. I wonder if anybody would actually take that and just, man, am I done with that thing? <laughs> yeah, if you're local, hit us up. Yeah. Seven more subscribers and you can have that truck. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it don't run. <laughs> it runs. It just runs like crap. <laughs> An old retired guy living in the Philippines. Oh, that sounds nice. Watch when you dig at 55. I'll be remember why I live up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, you know what, though? Digging that car out was a pain. But it's one of those things now that's a hilarious story with so all my buddies. Funny. Like, yeah. That video where I'm ripping it out and then getting stuck in, and that's in our front yard and driving her down. Like, that's, and putting it back is going to be hilarious. Like, there's going to be all sorts of fun stuff there. I always think when you're <clears> like, it's going to be fun. But when it's happening, you get so angry. The anger is instant. Uh, later, Jaws. Bye, Jaws. But that's how... I'll it... work on a, a jingle for you. But that's how it works. The, uh... The worse something is right now, the more fun the memory is of it. I'll keep that in mind. It always is. Like, every time something goes bad or whatever and breaks and stuff, you're mad as hell right then, but it's funny and, oh, like, it's a good story. Like, when was the last time we talked about that roller coaster ride or whatever? It <laughs> like, the only ride I remember from that whole thing is when we were, that, ro the ride broke. And I was panicking because we were so high in the air. <laughs> On the, because we went to, um, the, the Universal, the Hogwarts <clears throat> ride. And you hate heights, but I wanted to do this ride so badly. And I wanted you to come with me because, like, I love Harry Potter. And it broke halfway. <laughs> And we were like 30 and feet And we were in the air, dangling like face over. down. I was ready to lose I it. <laughs> that was the only part I remember. The whole thing. That, and then I remember eating at that Simpsons, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Duff's. And uh, in water up to my ankles. Because it flooded. The whole place flooded. Okay, so California is crazy. How y'all don't prepare for rain, I guess. So we were at Universal Studios. And for like an hour straight, there was this downpour, and the whole place flooded. That was so crazy. Call it sloppy. Oh, that would actually would have been a good guy to call that guy with sloppy mechanics. He's a good dude. I can do it in my burnout video. You should. Because I got called out individually. <laughs> yeah. He's actually got an old lady. You could call her out. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know her name or anything. Well, I'll figure it out. And we have we could do it in the fifty seven, so it's L he's a big LS guy. Honestly, I think I'm just addicted to burnouts now that I know how to do them. What well, yours the blue truck? It's a ninety five. Jamie, there you go. Yeah, Jamie. How did we meet? Vice grip mechanic, the internet. That's where you get your women and your cars from. Marketplace. Okay, I was not on marketplace. Pretty Jesus. much. <laughs> Pretty much. No, hardly. One of your pictures I, was a bathing suit picture. I That's still, a marketplace I would still ad. like it to be known that I ghosted you. Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, it was a wuss last night. You wouldn't even do a burnout. Oh, were <coughs> people asking for one? Well, it's Christmas Eve. He wanted to spend it with his family. Oh, I bet those two roast the tires. He's got like that polished glass tile floor. Like... Number one, I did play hard to get. And then as soon as I got it, I stopped. <laughs> I don't think I was chasing you. That was a good Christmas. Really, it was, oh, I can tolerate you. Oh, I can tolerate you. 
wind. I just like going for dinner with people. I don't like doing it by myself. That was a big part of why I dated. You just never left. And you like to eat. Sure do. <laughs> I don't like making stuff at uh, home. Change the ignition control module on that truck. Oh, yeah? Did you watch the video? Is that what it does? It'll run cold. And then idles. And then uh, the idle varies. It goes rrr, rrr, and then just dies. But you can keep the RPM up. It's fine. Engine control module. Google that shit. <clears throat> or write it down. Or it went off rock auto. <clears throat> What's it called? Engine control ignition. I don't, you'll have to say it again, but I'm sorry. Engine sure. control. Or ignition control. Ignition, I think you said. Stupid things up in the cap. Oh, yeah, I actually, I did that in another truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignition control. Yeah. Ignition control what? Module or whatever. GPS, ECM, CPM, ECM. Good night, Midnight Gambler. Oh my gosh, happy birthday. Why didn't you say something earlier? All right on, buddy. Happy birthday, doll. I hope you have like such a lovely evening. What engine is Thanks that for truck? hanging out. Uh, it's a 350, but it's uh, it's TBI. <clears throat> 95 was the last year that. So I'm, I'm just writing ignition control? Module. I don't understand them computers. If the ignition module is bad, it wouldn't start out. Well, it doesn't, so... Hugs to you too, <clears throat> midnight. Half the time, it'll, it won't start. Sometimes it runs absolutely fine. Other times, it just dies. It runs and dies. Oh, his phone is buzzing. He's so popular. Sorry about that. I'm surprised you don't just like silence your notifications when we do this. Well, I forget. Last time I did, I silenced it, then I forgot to turn it back on, and then it just. <laughs> so I called you. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you when didn't. you did it on your own? <clears throat> yeah, I thought it was a fuel issue too, but. Uh... It, uh, <laughs> I hear the pump, so, I don't know. And it happened just out of the blue. Just change, change the whole distributor. Ooh, that sounds expensive. Any more thoughts of putting a fuel injection on that truck? Uh, yeah, lots of thoughts about it. It's all actually ready to go. I got the box sitting up there with all the stuff. Oh, it looks like it's going to fall on the ground, actually. Oh, gosh. So I get that little push. Is the barrel supposed to jar or loose? I noticed that, and actually that, that manifold's going to fall, too. <laughs> A few safety issues out here tonight. Yeah, it could be, it's got to be something simple. Like it just wasn't happy, so I was going to check grounds and vacuum and all those things, but... People said fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, there's all sorts of I things. I have a plow for a mower. <gasps> you should have put the plow, or, plow on the on the lawnmower. The hot rod lawnmower needs a little baby plow. A little baby plow? Yeah. Safety third. You know it. Do you see any unibody Ford trucks? Uh, honestly, I don't even know what those are. So maybe. I'm assuming it's one body, but what would that look like? Eh. I think it's the older style. Like, What's 60. up, pig? I ate an 18 by 24 by 8 box of cookies. Good for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did I play that message for you? Or uh, uh -uh. he forwarded it from, from his old lady's chat. And uh, she, she does the burnout and all that, whatever it is. And oh, he, she did one? No, no, he oh. did. And then he goes to work and then he plays the chat. I am pissed. There's rubber everywhere in here. <laughs> She's all covered in rubber. <laughs> went in the house and went to work or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Wilfred Brimley. Remember that guy? No. Hi, I'm Wilfred Brimley. Who's that? I have diabetes. Oh, diabetes. <laughs> I remember how hard Brimley fun that guy. Well, wasn't it funny because it was on the, on the family guy? Oh, was it? That's the only reason I know it. It's because of the family guy. Diabetes. Quarter mile call out. You won't even drive a hot rod. Tried. I told him. Who? Pig. Oh, yeah. 
He said, I have no interest in cars. What's It's not the right car. 95 Chevy 454 distributor shaft was loose. Huh. I hope that's not the problem. This thing is running mint. That's a <coughs> well, I never drove it. That was the other thing. That's a big, uh, big concern of it. Convert the 56 wagon all wheel drive. That's excessive. Cars are minty. <laughs> I feel like they would have a very hard time with your lifestyle, pig. Well, just the road and stuff? Yeah. Was, man, That's what I mean. Like, like rough. It's middle of nowhere. I couldn't handle that. I couldn't handle those bumpy roads all the time. When he has the videos where he's in his truck and the whole thing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ice and light. Well, that's what I was thinking too, is maybe just let that truck sit inside overnight and see if it self heals. And if it does, we're good. Loose distributor can be a bear. We'll eventually start firing on the next <laughs> cylinder. <laughs> Run what you brung. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, fair enough. You bring some junk. <clears throat> I'm about to be three to one to Danny's drink. Well, Mm-hmm. Then you go get another drink. Is that what you want to say? This is my second one. You drank that one fast. I feel like it's Just trying to get through the evening. You're a lot to deal with some days. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever. Bumpy when this Montana is done, I'll probably roads. have another. <laughs> Our roads are terrible here, but I just hate gravel roads. I don't know why. What do we do? Usually we'll go to like the VIP movie theater or we go out for a nice dinner. Um... In the summertime, we do, I love going to, like, festivals and stuff, so usually in the summertime, we'd go to, like, Fringe Festival or to the Forks a lot. I like the Forks, but we couldn't do any of that this year, which sucked. So right now, date night, um... Tell you on the garage. This is date night. Welcome. Welcome. It's like a group hang. <laughs> It's like high school, you know, and your date is with everyone, with the guy you like and all their friends. Folk-a-rama. Yeah, I love going to Folkorama. I just like the food of Folkorama. That's what yeah. I really care about. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, chill. Merry Christmas to you too. Well, that's the whole reason to go to Folkorama is for the food. I feel like I missed something. When what video? When what video did you Oh, that was a long time ago. I think the channel started on the 55 Chevy. That's the problem is this thing doesn't get much love on the channel because I built it all before any, well, there was any views and the editing was terrible at the time. <laughs> camera was terrible. I was whatever, didn't like being on camera. Yeah. So I built it for like, I don't know, six months or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of feel like for us, date night is like every night because we don't have kids. Clip around the side computer, yeah. This thing was running so bad, too. It actually made me mad. The 56 is outside, Jason. Thanks, BW. Yeah, I had so much fun doing that burnout. I feel like I did a good job. Yeah, like, Danny killed it. I feel like even you were surprised at how good I did. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I really, I thought it was going to go sideways. Really? I was really scared you were going to panic and smash the truck. I didn't panic at all. No, but I told I wanted to keep going. Yeah, like, someone has to pay for those tires. Yeah, it's not me, so I don't care. But that's my, like, daily driver truck. Again, I don't care. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Well, actually, I should edit up that video and just put it up on its own separate thing so everybody can see that, too. See what? Just the video. I'll do that one and we can do the 57 and do them together. Well, I want to do the 57 on my channel. Oh, okay. Well, good luck filming it yourself. Well, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> Why do I got to do everything? Because I said so. Mm, fair enough. Do it. It's in 63. That's right on, buddy. Aw, thanks, Rodney. <laughs> That's nice of you. I never do my music live. It's only ever just pre-recorded. <laughs> Wayne, That's nice of you. I just, yeah, I was doing a lot of music writing and a lot of singing and then just stopped, so I'll try to get back into it a little more. Well, I just stopped in the 56. Well, the 56 is basically done. I got one more video put out on it, but I mean, it runs and drives. I put an interior in it, put seats in it. 
I thought I wasn't ever going to finish that car. I was just going to get it together enough I could uh, sell it to the next guy. And I feel like now is probably a funny time to sell because it it's Christmas. Kevy, where are you from? Local dude has a Saturn coupe with a plow on it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, right on. Good luck, Blake. See you Bye, later, Blake. Man. Thanks for hanging. Never put a spoil on that Camaro. Oh, and Hamilton. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah, no, I'm hoping that 56 may will sell it in the new year or something like that. Put it up for sale anyway, see what happens. Yeah, there was a little sprint for with a plow on it local for two grand that we wanted. It's unbelievable. I think it'd be funny to see this thing cruising down the road in the next couple of days with a big plow on it. Yes. I think we should do a video where we're filming people look at us thinking we're idiots. Yes. That's always fun. Just chains on it and everything. Uh-huh. The asking price on the 56. Uh, I'm going to ask 17 Canadian. I don't know what that is, American. 13 or 14 grand, maybe? But uh, we'll see. Has it got a heater? It does not. 13K about. Yeah. But that being said, I'll sell it for less if I take some parts out of it and all that. I was going to put up for that and then, but I'm willing to deal if I get to keep the, I want the, well, the intake manifold with the carburetors, the bucket seats and the rims and tires. What's the, that manifold that Cubal sent you going to go in? Well, he sent me that actually, and, and it might be that too. I was thinking I might sell it, just change the intake manifold. So I can put that on there with another carburetor having it still be a running, driving car. It just won't look as cool. Oh, okay. So that's kind of where I'm at. 15 all day in the States. Peg! Thanks, buddy. He spent some of that Patreon money. <laughs> he was telling me, actually, when he came home from work the other day, he couldn't, the get, in his, he couldn't get in the shack. There was too many hundreds to open it. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Garth Brooks? I don't think I'm good enough guitar player for that. I would need a... I'd have to convince old Waylon to... To do some newer country, even though that's old country in my books. Skinny waist, larger than a crotch. Well, you're behind, man. That was like it's an hour ago. I guess you won't know that for another hour yet. <laughs> that was a pretty good joke, though, yeah. Okay, Craig. We get it. Oh, God. They're going. They're going off. Use a gasoline heater out. What? Yeah, 67 old. Well, oh, that's cool. Effie's, I did a Garth Brooks song. Actually, because Peg wanted Garth Brooks. So I did a Garth Brooks song. So you, if you go far enough back in my channel, it's there. If <laughs> YouTube had a swear jar. <laughs> yeah. That's funny stuff, punching up J-Ride. What's J-Ride? What are we punching up? Just pretend you're better on guitar. I truly only know five chords. And she struggles with them. Wow, I do not struggle with them. You get so mad when I come in and I'm in your practicing. You get angry and you make 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 a mistake there. Well, yeah, because you make me nervous. You're like, jing, jing, jing. Then you slide like a fuck. <laughs> I know. I feel like people don't realize how much of a potty mouth I am. I've got a huge... The amount of clips you've had to delete because I'm the problem because I'm cussing? You're always a problem, though. But, like, a good problem. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That was a long wow. <laughs> she, she's good at the wows. Wow. Like the stare. Okay, relax. Oh, I've got a good stare. Yeah, you just got to simmer down a little sometimes. You get a little <laughs> heated. Well, that's my, um, from when I used to have to work with all those kids and be like their mom. They knew they were in trouble if they got the stare. You also hold grudges a little too long. I love holding a grudge, though. Seven minutes, get over it. The look. Oh, oh God. You a like hand, G bodies. A hand for Dan and a kiss to me. I know G body. 
Who are you, Mikey? Yeah, there we should be, eh? Is that Pine Fall Shine in the jug? I don't know what that means, but it's, uh... New plow rig. Does that mean you're going to start farming? Well, hey, you got to pay for the fuel somehow. <laughs> G bodies. I don't think I've ever had a G body. I don't think they're for me. They're too rusty all the time in the wrong areas. Yeah, exactly. The look is powerful. I know. It's just the stone cold stare. Yeah. Hillbilly Swill. <laughs> She's kind of hillbilly. I, I wish I was a little more like hillbilly or I feel like I say this and people take it negatively, but it's not a negative comment because like, I love it so much, but like your classic kind of like stereotypical, like trailer trash woman, I would, I would have so much fun doing that. We're like city hillbilly. We're not full blown. I like to think that we're city trash. We pay our bills and stuff though. Yeah. But I still feel like we're I really want to live trash. in a trailer, I gotta say. No, but I just mean, like, I love the idea of being really, like, over the top, but, like, tacky. In I love head, being tacky. In my head, I feel like a lot of those trailers are cold. They're not really well insulated. I oh, don't want to deal with that. I would die. Yeah, cold floor suck. <clears throat> 84 Bonneville, that's cool. Battery is cocked in it. Cook the biscuit. Bummer, man. Trailer hood. <laughs> they are cold and hot. Yeah, see? I don't like that. I like we put like I don't know, we pass up on a lot of things or whatever, but uh having the house air conditioned and heated, those are things that you gotta just yeah. do. You can't I don't like having that. And uh, the pool heated. Yeah. Those are the few things like that's important. I don't mind eating macaroni all the time, but I don't like having cold cold house sucks. True that, true that. Could have been doing doors on G bodies. <laughs> Trailers blow over easy. I don't think we have that kind of wind here. By Danny's hair. Oh, wow. oh, cute with lavender streaks. That sounds adorable. I love that. I know. I gotta. I think I gotta bite the bullet and just bleach my hair myself and dye it because too much of my natural hair is showing. Canadian Tire is like. Uh, how do you describe that? It's like they have automotive, but they also have, like, outdoors and stuff. Basically, they sell everything but food, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> Sporting goods, tools. They got it all. But they're not great at everything. Have you done a greasy, juicy, sweet 2020 burnout yet? Yeah, man. Go look at the last video, but not yet. Go look at it in three minutes when we're done. <laughs> in three minutes? <laughs> yeah, I put the video out just before we came up here, actually. Pig would come by and shoot the plastic flamingos. <laughs> 56 Chevy four door in purple and silver. I don't I don't know. I don't think ever came purple. I'm not a big uh, color guy or a big originality guy. We're very opposite in that. The entire sells chips and buckboards. Yeah, I guess you're right. Franks or whatever, right? Franks stuff? Franks chips? Is that what it's called? What? What's their name brand now? Franks? Remember we got the soap and all that? Has a little saying on it. The entire. Oh, yeah, Fred? that's so funny. It is Frank's. And it's like, when you get the garbage bags, it's like, Frank's takes it out. I love Frank's. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, Shell. That's nice of you. Yeah, you should probably go to sleep if it's 4 a.m. there. Goodness gracious. 4 a.m. In the Netherlands. He's late. Ceiling blacktop with plow is original. Hopefully you're not being sarcastic. We do have the good Lay's chips. That's true. Except they did just change, like, the design of the bags, and I don't like it. The entire Princess Auto are where I go all the time. Pretty much it. New Year's Eve garage burnout. 
Look, trophy giveaway. <laughs> Later, guys. See ya, Alan. We're probably done right away, too. Yeah, we're out here right away, too. It's kind of chilly. Yeah. We got to crank heat back on at the plow. Well, man, this custom painted on. It's nice. Oh, I just want to put a bunch of stickers on it. Oh, cute. That'd be nice. That's what I want. I was going to see if anybody wants to send me stickers. Like, like all these. Well, hey, if you want to send stuff, stickers, go to, the, next, uh, go to the video description. When a video I do it, I'm making a uh, jammer full of stickers and stuff like that. Found a fantastic way. Hollywood will rip oh, you off. Oh, Glenn, that sucks. Ketchup chips are my fave. Ugh, they're so terrible. No, they're so delicious. What's for dinner? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. 55 wagon on a K. Yeah. I like it to the fact that it's on a two wheel drive, like factory. I think that's way funnier. Good night, Jay. Oh, and thanks for sending <coughs> that stuff, bud. Yeah, appreciate it, man. All right, I think we're out of here. We gone. See you guys later. Bye, friends. Hope you had a good Christmas, and we'll see you in the new year, or on New Year's, or. Right after New Year's, or whenever. Later.